Thank you. <laughs> no Welcome back to Italy. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, Thank you. always a pleasure yeah, to speak to you face to face. Yes. And um, I know the last couple of years have been uh, busy as hell for you, yes. but uh, time has rewarded you with uh, this great work, such as uh, the Night Siren. So please tell me how everything's been going on with it. Um, well, um, the Night Siren, we have 20 people on the album from all over the world. Um, in a sense, it's a little bit like a, a, a musical, excuse me, a musical peace accord. In other words, the idea is, is peace, people working together from all over the world, from Israel, from Palestine, together, um, from uh, Iceland, from Hungary, from Azerbaijan, from Sweden, the United States, a lot of the places. UK. And some of it recorded here in Italy, in Sardinia, uh -huh. um, some of it in London, some in Miami, some in Budapest. And so it's you been, travel all around been traveling a lot. A, a globe trotter. <laughs> a globe trotter, yes, all of that. And um, people say, oh, it must be very difficult to do this. But actually, when you make friends all over the world, um, it's actually very easy. It's just an extension of working with people all over the world and fans and um, friends, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just friends from everywhere. It's, it's actually very easy for the whole world to work together. Despite everything that politicians have been trying to do to pull us apart and, yes. to, and to ruin and in fact, Europe and ruin yeah. Brexit and England and ruin Scotland's relationship. It's just everyone. Yes. Politicians seem to be failing people. Absolutely. So music is, is a more important ambassador, I think, yes. for goodwill to demonstrate that it works better when everyone comes yeah. together. And, yeah, for example, uh, one of your statements was that um, you, the purpose of this album was to bring, for example, um, Jewish and Muslim musicians yes. together. Yes. And we both know the clash yes. between the two is always yes. evident by all means of information we see every day. They always, they always struggle. But I, I think that I, I'm actually very happy that you, you did this album because I, I'm uh, getting very, very interested in uh, Jewish culture, yes. Judaism. Uh -huh. So. Um, I'm really <laughs> excited about it, and um, I believe that the Night Siren, as you said, is a, an ambassador for demonstrating that music, when, when it comes to music, no matter what the opinions are, no matter what the yeah. beliefs are, no matter what the populations are, but on music we're all on the same level. For example, do, do you agree on that? I think so, yes, it is. Um, it has a special power to bring people together in yeah, spite of different opinions. I think that's the idea of music, you know, um, honesty and energy with music revitalizes people and, um, you know, there are many different communities involved with all of this and um, I also am very worried about the state of the world at the moment. Um, it seems as if we're dangerously close to uh, the politics of the 1930s and the rise of the right is giving way to, in some ways, an acceptable form of fascism, which is awful because, you know, we have to reject all of this or everything will be lost. Believe me, um, it's so easy for that to happen. Um, uh, I am pro-refugee, I am anti-borders. I think borders are a way of inflicting violence on poor people. Um, basically, the world is and should be an extended family. We are actually all related. You know, everyone's doing family DNA and where did you come from or whatever the hell the program's called. And, um, and yet nobody's drawing the parallel and saying, well, actually, yes, you know, your ancestors, mine are Polish, Jewish and, and Joes and they were refugees and they were allowed into England uh, 
okay, at the end example, of the 1800s. For example, this uh, topic of the refugee, we can see um, in a, especially in the track Behind the Smoke, uh, yes. where we can see all uh, a lot Behind of... Behind the Smoke is the one, yes. Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, also because one of my favorite artists is Jewish, yes. and I'm speaking about, I don't know if you know, his name is Matis Yahu. I don't know right. if you ever heard him. I don't but know. But I, I, I suggest you to go and check him I'm out sure. because he's, yes. uh, he's absolutely great. I'm sure. And um, I mean, at the end, I think that as a point of uh, reference, you are to many people, including myself. Um, I think that um, your, your valiant uh, skills have brought you to be uh, the man you, you are today. and. Uh, a point of reference to many people still searching for uh, their identities and um, yes. you know uh, I guess that a message of hope for these people is always to uh, keep on fighting and yes. to pur pursue their dreams yes and um, absolutely you know, I, I, I think I you know I've said some very controversial things on stage recently with audiences in America um, and in Spain and uh, in Paris and over here now this will be the first show um, in Italy and um, of course we go to the UK after this and um, I realize that I am out of step with the politicians mm. but on the other hand you know um, we think the failure of politics is maybe the success of music I expect a lot from music and I think it's the job of the media and artists and everyone to try and preserve the peace and goodwill and fellowship that we have now amongst people. Otherwise, we will end up with a nationalism that is the same as saying the first national anthem was. God bless all those in cave 13 and to hell with all the rest. You know, that's a line from Mel Brooks and it's very perceptive before he started making movies. Um, and also, uh, what, what, what another important statement is, for, for example, as I said before, to pursue the dreams is uh, Walt Disney. Walt Disney once said, "If you can dream it, you can do it." Yes, I think that's that's true. And don't dream it, be it from the Rocky Horror Show. I think um, it is possible to make dreams uh, uh, happen. I think you have to face the idea that the the impossible takes a little bit longer than, mm, yeah. than the possible, but. Um, I think you've got to aim as high as you possibly can and uh, you might be surprised that other people see it the same way. Mm. Yes. Thank you very much because you uh, made a lot of things clear on uh, different... Uh, and it was a pleasure meeting thank you. you always. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> you give us hope. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Hope. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful guitar. Yeah.